morning business report. The theft of consumer goods worsened by the pandemic is certainly starting to hit companies' financials. This hurts worker retention and makes inflation even worse. Channel 3's Jane King is at the Nasdaq explaining the business side of retail theft and why stores want Congress to act. Retail thefts, both in total numbers and dollar amount, are now up roughly 30 percent since the pandemic began. That's according to the Coalition of Law Enforcement and Retail. The upswing has hurt both big retailers and mom and pop stores. Now, businesses are grappling with both large scale incidents that are backed by crime theft rings as well as petty shoplifting. Increased theft forces stores to make big investments in technology and security, and it hurts worker retention. Well, Barron's reports 20 retail executives signed a letter over the winter urging lawmakers to act, calling it a national crisis. Best Buy's CEO told investors theft is putting pressure on their bottom line. And Kroger said theft is causing a drop in profit margins. Walgreens had also said it was absorbing a 52% increase in shrink. That's the retail term for inventory lost due to fraud and theft. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce also sent a letter to Congress urging the passage of the Inform Act. That is legislation that makes it harder to resell stolen goods online. The House passed that bill in February, but the Senate has yet to take it up. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your Memorial Day business report. All right.